right, I decided to come back before I get to the end of my quilt to show you guys this. So I showed you earlier when you're realigning your safe area to make sure you have not advanced your quilt too far um, or your design will be outside your safe area. Well, here is an example of where I did not advance my quilt far enough. So if I zoom in so you can see this really well, if you look at this area where that red line is, that's my safe area. And you'll notice that my design is going outside of that area because I didn't advance the quilt far enough on the frame. So instead of going too far, I didn't go far enough. So I need to advance it just a little bit more. Let me make sure my needle's not down. And it is not. So I need to advance it a little more. That should do it. And come over here. Now I don't have my top set up yet. I've got to get my bungees back on. I've got to get my clamps back on. But I just want to show you um, before I do all of that, we're going to reset this, tell it my needle. And hopefully I didn't go too far this time. The other way, uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand because I got my GoPro in the other hand instead of strapping it on my chest. Okay, so I've got my needle there. Put my foot back on. Uh, I do not work well with one hand. So you know what, I'll come back and put my foot on in a second, but I'm still gonna just go ahead and reset the safe area. So let's do that and then I'll come back and finish putting um, well, I didn't even take these bungees off and I should have finished putting my clamps and bungees and everything back in place. But so now let's go back over here to realign the safe area and I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so I can see. So it thinks that my needle is up here when my needle is really down here. So I've got to tell the machine this is where my needle is at right there in that area. Okay zoom out all right now my design is safely within my safe area I still got to trim like I said I've still got to put all the clamps and stuff back on my top but once I do that and I trim the design I'm ready to go so let's just zoom out we'll go ahead and trim it while I've got you here select trim vertical trim with invert on the left side trim again vertical trim without invert on the right side okay so I'm going to clamp everything, get ready to go, and um, I just wanted to show you guys that. So not only can you advance the quilt too far, you also have a case where you may not advance it far enough. All right, I'm almost done. Uh, I've got two more rows to go, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to finish off the last row.